Today, I'll be teaching you how to keyframe. First, you're going to want to open up Final Cut Pro. You're going to start by creating a new project and titling it. Once you have imported all the videos that you want, drag them onto your timeline. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your timeline. Go to the viewfinder, click on the down arrow by the crop button, and select transform. From there, you can move the clip wherever you want on your screen. In this tutorial, I'll just be showing you how to keyframe one video. But if you want to do more, layer your clips on top of each other and keyframe each video. Then, make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the video. Now you should see the keyframe button on the top left-hand corner of your viewing screen. Press the keyframe button and make sure it highlights in orange. Next, go back to your timeline and move your playhead to the next part of your video. Move the clip to the place on the screen you want it to be during that section of your timeline. Press the key frame button again. Make sure it turns orange. Remember that if you move the video a long distance, it will move faster than if you only move it a short distance. The way keyframing works is that every time you press the keyframe button, the computer leaves a placeholder, so at that place in your timeline, the video knows that it needs to be at that location. But in the end, it looks like one fluid motion, essentially telling the video to be here at one second, then another location at another period of time. So basically, you're going to repeat this process over and over until you have the movement of the video that you want. This is very tedious, so be patient. Once you finish editing, press Done in the top right-hand corner of your viewing screen. Now you're a pro at Final Cut Pro.